we have our stainless steel piston check series. A few things to note with these, the body itself is 316 stainless steel and they come BSP threaded up to two inch from quart one quarter inch. Uh, the seat itself is Teflon. If you have a look down here, you can see the white there. This is a 316 stainless steel nut on the end of it. Now on the body, there is an arrow of the direction of flow. This is how it must be installed. So you have your inlet, travels along, pushes the seat up, down through your outlet. Now the good thing about these is they can be installed in any direction, unlike other check valves such as a swing check. So you can store it on this plane, this plane, any way you wish. The pressure itself it can take is up to 54 bar or 790 psi. Now the way it operates, if you have a look here on its inlet, you can see down where I'm pressing the screwdriver is the seat. So you have your flow coming through, it hits the seat, pushes it up and then flows past. Now a common question is what's its cracking pressure? Well its cracking pressure really depends on the size of the check valve you're using but in most cases it's no more than a few psi. The only thing that will happen as the spring compresses it won't fully push it up. Obviously you need more pressure to push it all the way up. If you were to get some back pressure or flow in the other direction, how does it stop it? Well, if you have a look in here, so the opposite direction of flow, your flow comes along, it hits the seat and it can't push it up. 